Okay, so on this quest to do these things, right, introducing this new language, okay, we have some abbreviations. Would you make a little subheading, please? Abbreviations. Which basically help us to use this language, but do it in a much sort of more efficient way. Uh, in the same way as we've got words like, you don't have to write this down. We have words like don't, right? Don't is actually not a word. Don't is two words that we've kind of crammed together and it's faster to say don't than do not, right? And so we've got a whole bunch of these kind of like contractions and abbreviations that just help us work a little bit better. Okay. So I'm going to give you, I've got one, two, three, four, five little abbreviations that I'm gonna show you, okay? So the first one is the one that Nikhil was mentioning. I'm gonna use this example in fact. Two times P. If you've got a pronumeral, a little label, a variable, and you're multiplying it by a number. Two times p, I'm just going to write that as 2b, right? Um, it's just like saying, oh, instead of saying I have two of these whiteboard markers, I could just say I have two whiteboard markers. Does that make sense? So it's just kind of cutting that out. It's a bit of an abbreviation. It's handy for us. Okay. In the same way, we know that if you've got like division, we already have the fraction symbol you're familiar with. So for instance, I might say e divided by 4. I could write that as e on 4. And that's an abbreviation you're already very familiar with. Uh, we also, at the start of the year, we looked at index notation. Do you remember that? Like when you square or cube a number? Okay. So for instance, if I wanted to say have uh, the number of people, the number of people times the number of people. If I wanted 2 times 2 times 2, I'd say 2 cubed. Well here, I just have a, a label kind of standing in for that. So how could we write this in a shorter way? Any takers? Yeah, Frank. So, oh, I was three than P. Ooh, okay. Now, interestingly, what I'm doing is I'm multiplying, right? If I had three and then P like this, that would be P plus P plus P, right? But here I'm multiplying three times. So Selena, what would you do instead? Okay, P, and you can either say cubed or to the power of three. And those are a little bit different, aren't they? This versus, don't write this down, versus this, they're kind of different, aren't they, right? This is three times P, but this is P times itself three times, and they're a little bit different. Okay, um, I have a handful more for you. Okay, if you've, you've got your index notation here, okay, I've only got two more, I think, so I'll see if I can squeeze them in. If I just have one lot of something, right? Like say one lot of, what did I have before? A, one lot of A. One lot of something is just the same size as that number, yeah? So one lot of five is five. One lot of six is six. One lot of 34 million is 34 million, okay? So I don't need to say one times. I can just say that number, okay? Whatever that happens to be. And one last one. See this guy here? If you um, want to take out multiplication signs, you can take out a whole bunch if you like. So for instance, if I had something like hmm, A times B times 6, for instance. If I just use the first uh, rule, how could I write that? Yeah, 6AB. Okay, interestingly, you've gone straight to the answer that I do want, but interestingly, it's not the most obvious answer. I think looking at this, I would have written AB6. Like, it's just the order that's there, okay? Now, the first question is, how can I just change the order? Why, why is AB6 and 6AB, why are they actually kind of the same thing? Yeah. Because 6 is more important than the 2. Ah, this is interesting. Okay, so we're trying now to make an argument about which one's most significant. I'm going to hit pause on that one because I don't think it's always true, but it might be. Um, can I get some other suggestions? Yeah. Wait, so you asked why you can write them in both ways, right? Correct. I'm comparing this and this. Wait, isn't it because of the commutator law? Ah, so in the last couple of days, right, we've looked at the fact that multiplication, you can multiply numbers in whatever order you like, right? You can do these ones first, or you can do these ones. So the order can change to be whatever we like. However, we, Ranesh was right in the first place, we do tend to put the number out the front. I will say, it's not always because the number is the most important. Suppose A and B were like 6 billion and 40 trillion, right? I would think that the 6 billion and the 40 trillion are more important numbers than the 6, but we don't know what they are, okay? So by convention, so we're all kind of talking a common language, 
we abbreviate in this way. In much the same way that we all agree that don't means do not. It's like, why do we do that? Well, at least that way we're all talking the same language. And when you say that, I know what you mean. And when I say that, you know what I mean. Okay, true. Could you also do 6BA? Yes, you could. Yes, you could. But again, just as a convention, to make things nice and neat, we tend to put, if we've got lots of labels, if we've got lots of pronumerals, we tend to put them in alphabetical order. Right? You, you don't have to, as we just noticed. You can multiply them in whichever order you like. But that way, if they're all the same order, we can look at each other's working and know that we're on the right track. Okay? Does anyone have any questions? Do you see what we've done? All we're trying to do here is work with numbers where we're not sure what they are, or identify patterns that are true for not just some numbers, but all of them, like here. 